Okay. This John Deere here, this is going to be one of our next projects. It is a 2840 and it has a hydraulic issue. We're going to guess the hydraulic issue to probably be the screen and the filter. It could be the pump, but we're really doubting that. So, anyway, next time you see this, it'll be inside the shop and we'll get after it. See you then. Okay, so this morning we're finally going to get to jump on the John Deere 2840. And this is going to be the unit that is having some hydraulic issues. Whenever you raise the bucket or the three point, it just shudders. So if, if you've got one that's shuddering like this, you may already know what we're about to do. But if you don't, what we are about to do, what we are about to do is go ahead and drain the hydraulic fluid and change out the filter and we're also going to clean the the screen okay and top this baby back off and see if that straightens it out and if not then we'll reassess and uh move on to the next step see the yeah this is texas so if you see fog coming from my breath it's too darn cold Hence, the heater. Yeah, we don't like this in Texas. You, uh, you northern folks, take this back up there. We'd really appreciate it. Okay, so that's our screen. It's uh it's not great, but at the same time it's it's not I, I've seen worse. So we'll clean this up. There's a valve just just above this. We're gonna pull that, that valve body off, clean the valve up and see what we got there. So hang on. All right, so screen's all cleaned up. And as you can see, I mean, it, it really, like I said before, it really wasn't very bad. So I'm gonna reach inside there, have a look, you know, see if I see any trash anywhere and try to clean it out. But uh, I don't know. Maybe the filter's really, really bad. Or maybe that valve body's stuck. So we'll get all this torn apart and see what's going on. Okay, I was telling you a while ago that we are going to have to pull a spool. This spool is located directly above the oil filter. Okay. You're going to need an inch and an eighth. And a three eighths to get this nut off. Because that's what holds the wire to the sensor. When it detects the, the filters clogged up or something stuck in this valve it'll tell it to open and bypass okay nothing's wrong with this so we're just going to go ahead and put it back in and pull that filter out so here we go okay so spools back in who knows if y'all got to see that maybe the camera was on maybe it wasn't 
you know, I'm I'm just saying. But upon further inspection of the oil, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe we can get the right angle with the camera, but anyway in the right angle it does look like it's you know it's the kind of thing they'd use to paint a skate rink in the 80s don't ask me how i'd know that but anyway nonetheless with that said we'll be replacing the fluid we've already cleaned the screen you saw that and i'm still going to put that back in give it the old titan that'll be ready um we pulled that filter out it came apart as i was pulling it out of there it's perfect <laughs> no it's not he's already on the way to go get me another one and our fluids and whatnot so soon as chris gets back with that goods we'll um We'll put everything back and see what happens. Here we go. All right, everybody. So, this is what it should look like. Yeah. All right. So, now that we have the correct stuff, we're going to get after it. So. Here we go. All right, so we got the screen clean, new filter installed. We're going to go ahead and top off the fluids, and uh, then we'll be ready to try this thing. So finish topping off the fluids, and we'll go from there. that's got that wrapped up hey everybody thanks for watching please subscribe and hit the like button and don't forget to share and hit that notification bell